Someone once left me a comment getting upset because I once called their purple skunk fantasy, Fifi from Tiny Toon Adventures, a bimbo. And it was like, sorry to burst your bubble, but that was a part of her character. Fifi by far was one of the wildest and at times most depressing things to come out of the TV show. As a counterpart and student under Peppy, romance was her life. She loved her romance books and was depicted as boy crazy. In fact, Fifi as a character who was supposed to be between 13 and 14 was shown to be into older men too, and Pepe Le Pew was one of them. Her biggest supporters love to think of her as this free-loving spirit, and maybe those who never really thought much of her. But in reality, that free-loving spirit was called being really naive. Outside of living with the burden of being a skunk that smelled horrible, being naive landed Fifi in some of the worst situations a handful of times. She has been kidnapped, used and mistreated by people she idolized, and when you really look back at the Amazing 3 segment, she was moments away from being G-rated sexually assaulted by a senior class student at Perfecto Prep. She usually had a heart of gold, but young and kind of stupid was her character. It's like in Scarface where Tony's sister let a dude lead her into the men's bathroom so he could screw her in the bathroom stall. That was the kind of stuff you wouldn't be surprised Fifi would do in her desperation to be loved. But you had to image her life sucked, and her options were limited. She lived in a car in the middle of a garbage dump, and unlike some of her classmates, not a single guardian of hers was ever spotted. And despite popular belief that she dated all kinds of other male animals, 99% of the guys she was interested in were either a skunk or someone mistaken for a skunk, like Calamity or Furball, who received the not so honor of being her Penelope pussycat. And the irony of all of this is, Fifi was far from ugly. She might have not had the body like Ben Bed did, but she was definitely a cartoon bait for his love adding to their top tens, and some of the male cast, like Furball, did show interest in her. The problem is, once the guys around her realized she smelled like a sewage dump, good looks were not enough. Only another male skunk could handle her, and none were ever spotted by Ackman Ludiversity. Hampton, however, was the exception to the rule during the prom episode when he asked Fifi out. The pairing, however, didn't seem to stick long like Babs or Buster or Plucky and Shirley, and if we're being blunt, the writers likely just wanted the two oddballs together so the two trios would be all together. But she was just happy someone wanted to go with her, and that tells you Fifi's preferences were not by design. It's hard chasing love when you're a cartoon skunk. You just want to snuggle her sometimes and tell her it's all going to be okay.